Hello, my YouTube friends. Anything that you can do to improve the way you interact with your live streaming audience is a huge plus. Live streams are all about building that audience connection. But I have to sit pretty far back from my monitors when I'm streaming in order to get the look I want with my camera. Now this creates a bit of an issue seeing the chat for me. So if you have that problem like I do, I want to show you an easy solution to use your phone or a tablet device to extend your desktop so that you can see your chat. But there is more, a lot more that you can do with this. I'm going to surprise you with it at the end so you definitely want to stick around. It's pretty easy and totally free so you know what, let's get to it! Chat is so important to your live stream, it's your window into what the audience is thinking. How they react to you and how you react to their reaction in the chat is the foundation of building a good connection with your audience. Making it easy for you to read the chat is absolutely paramount. We're going to use a free app called Space Desk. There is a link in the description so you can download this and follow along. That is the best way to learn. We're just going to go over here and we're going to select our OS. In my case, I've got Windows 10 64 bit. So we're going to go ahead and just select that and it downloads. And I'm going to go into our downloads here and we'll double click next, accept next. And it's going to install it. And we want to add the exception to the firewall so it can see the tablets. And we want to go ahead and install it. We're going to get an administrative prompt that you can't see, but we want to click yes. And then we click finish. And you may want to go ahead and reboot your system just in case. But you can see it is loaded up right here. If we double click on it. There you go. You see it is loaded. On our tablet or phone, we're going to go into the App Store. Obviously, it's the Google Store on the Google phone, and it's going to be the App Store on the iPhone or the tablet. So I'm using an Android tablet at the moment, so I'm going into the Google Store. Then we're going to go ahead and search for Space Desk. It comes right up. You can see it here at the top. There are no add-ins, no ads, no nothing. It doesn't cost anything. You can go ahead and just download this and add it to your iPhone, your Android phone, or your tablet. It takes a couple seconds to download. Once it's in, you can just click on it on your tablet and it's going to ask you for some permissions. But as long as you are on the same network wirelessly as your computer is on, you're in good shape. So it comes up and it looks just like this when it's done. And if you already have it installed on your computer, your computer will probably just come right up with it right here. Now I showed how to add it on an Android tablet, but the process is the same for an Android phone, an iPhone, or an iPad. The only difference really is the store that you get it from. Now let me show you how to use this app to extend your desktop and a lot more. All right, so how do we do this? How do we bring our chat over to our other screen? Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on connection on our other screen and it's gonna connect. Now you can see it if we go in here, and we go here and we uh, go to our system. So basically, if we're out here on the main screen, we're gonna go into system and you can see, I've got three main monitors and this one right here is our extended monitor for our iPad. Now what I did is I went down here and I changed it into portrait. We can adjust the resolution if we want, but portrait and this resolution works really good for this tablet that I'm using so it works just fine then all we have to do is go up here in our live streaming studio and go ahead and pop out our chat we see it right here and then all we have to do is drag it on over to our other screen and then we can double click on it on the other screen and it embiggens it and makes it large so now what we can do is we can go ahead and minimize this and you can see we have social stream ninja open so we will be able to actually interact with that chat you can just go ahead and type in something in our chat over here on the other screen and you'll see it does appear in social stream ninja we've got the chat down here but the best part is i've got it all right here i can see everything right here where i'm sitting and read it 
it's it's fantastic so then I can go up here and select it using the mouse and I can show it up on screen and all that sort of stuff now you can also do this a slightly different way so let's go ahead and drag this back over here what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop this out of the dock and I can drag this over here and we can you know now we can see our chat over here and we can make this whatever size we want so we could basically just see the chat now the touchscreen functions of your tablet still function so when I put this over here on the tablet I can select the chat very easily just by clicking on it it's hard to do when you can't see it but if I select it right here on the screen you can see that it shows up so I can even control my social stream ninja chat and add selective chat from the screen just by using this it's really 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 awesome so we can add some more chat here and of course that comes that shows up right here on the tablet and I can just select it right there and it'll appear on the screen sitting all the way back here I don't have to mess around with the mouse or anything I can just select the chat right on here to make it appear on the screen um, if I want to read something in the chat I can just pick up my tablet and read it right here it's really really easy the other thing I can probably do here is I can go ahead and grab the scenes out of here and I can drag this over and I should be able to change scenes just by clicking on the scene right on my iPad so I can click on my iPad and change the scenes that easily if I don't have a stream deck or something like that I can control the entire stream from my iPad or in this case it's an Android tablet but either one it's gonna work exactly the same it's really really awesome so I like to use it for chat but theoretically you could read your chat just like I'm doing right now and control your entire stream because of course I have that tab popped out right here and I can just easily change it by clicking on the actual button really pretty awesome now I was as surprised as you probably were that the touch functions actually worked making it easy to select chat using the social stream ninja now you just probably want to mount this so it's easy to see and you're golden you also want to make the extra effort to mount it in a way that doesn't take away from your attention to the camera looking away from the camera is not ideal for audience connection and you should minimize that as much as possible that's why something like this is so important if you want to see all the awesome things that you can do with social stream ninja you should check this video out if you want to connect with me you can always stop by my live streams on wednesday nights at 7 p.m eastern standard time where I answer your live streaming questions. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.